out with the junior champion. Um, a lovely balanced heifer. Um, big powerful heifer. She was in the oldest heifer class today and um, not too far off the job but you've got to admire the power plus the openness through the muzzle, the openness right through her chest and the openness through her rib cage and the width that she showed through the through the rump today. And she was a heifer that, that really looked the way that a, a senior two, dry, like just over two year old and dry, should look and, and um, yeah, that impressed me and that just got her over our um, reserve. But I think the top four or five, but a lot of the heifers just showed so much balance and dairiness and, and were the heifers that I was trying to find and, and we managed to find good ones at the top of every class which was really um, nice for a judge to do yeah. um, when you find heifers that you're looking for. Um, yeah, and just beautiful dairy cats. The intermediate was, a, again, um, she had the most balance. She was the most correct heifer that I found all day um, in the intermediate section. Um, I love the way that she blended from the from the neck through onto the shoulder and right throughout the body. She was just it was just seamless as you move through the parts of the cow as you look at the cow. She wasn't the biggest intermediate out there today, but she was the most complete intermediate and she had a well attached udder and, and, and a well attached forerider and rear udder with nice teeth shape and size and, and that's what got her up the line today. As I said, she wasn't the biggest cow, she didn't have the biggest rib cage of the intermediates today, but she was the most balanced and most correct for me. Yeah. I, the senior cow was the epitome of a dairy cow as far as I'm concerned. She, she has that right um, dairiness to her, um, plus the capacity, like she had the depth through the fore and rear rib that gave her that huge, huge, wonderful body that the cow was displaying. But it was just the bone combined with that and the balance of the cow. There, it, to me, there wasn't much I'd like to change throughout the body of the cow. She had five calves, her udder was still well above the hocks, well attached and still had a high wide rear udder that wasn't showing very much wear to it. And that's what that's what got her to the best udder today as well. Um, through that shape of udder, the capacity she showed, the way she moved past that udder for a mature cow and having five calves and having so much udder there. It, it, it still wasn't a problem for the cow to, to, to move past it and, and I think that's impressive for mature cows today. We were asking them to give so much milk and that cow was so clean in her bone and, and lovely and balanced. And as was the reserve cow, she was balanced in, in the same way and had that beautiful bone as well but just couldn't match the champion cow for, for that overall depth and, and openness and just, just super clean and, and um, dairy and stylish at the same time. So, yeah, no, and the, and the honourable mention was again a lovely young cow that will have her day. Yeah. In cows, I believe we need cows that, that can function easily on, at home on the farm and if you've got that balance to your cow, they tend to be cows that can, can walk, can forage and do all the things easily for themselves. They don't need a lot of farmer interference to, to make them look good. They're always looking good um, and that's what I look for on, on, on our farm because the less interference we've got to do with a big herd, the better off we are.